Hello, this is Nick995. I just want to talk about now. This is my part two of the Red Dead 2 I review. Um, now, Red Dead 2, you know, uh, if you, you know, uh, like if you guys uh, go to my channel, like you'll see Red Dead 1, uh, Red Dead, Red Dead 2 part 1 review is on there. Now, this is just part two. Now, I just want to talk more about the exploration, the, uh, you know, the animal pelt quality, the uh, realism of the world and uh, complexity of the AI so you know and like I said in the previous review Red Dead 2 this is one of the biggest maps you'll ever play uh, in a game it's so realistic it's so you know as you seen right here this is uh, Amberino like this is in the north area so this area it's kind of like the uh, North Pole you know or you know like some like it's very away from uh, civilization and now, there's a lot of glacier hill there's frozen lakes there's wolves coming at you there's deer bison and all sorts of things this area feels very different from let's say if you were to go to a grassland area or desert area like uh, new austin and new austin feels very different from lemoyne lemoyne is based off of uh new orleans so has lots of swamp areas uh you know like you'll have lots of swamp areas you'll see like if you go there you'll see alligators you'll see turtles frogs vultures uh you will see uh, cougars and all that but uh, it's amazing it's just amazing how they crafted this world everything like everything from the you know uh, uh, even here like, if you look at, at the snow uh, effects uh, it looks so uh, realistic like uh, every time like i i walk in the snow you know like there's there's that uh, effect you know like i can see the graphics like your uh, footprints you know like you look very closely and uh, everything that falls in the snow that uh, you see that dead wolf over there everything that falls in the snow there's that realistic uh, effect you know a uh, graphic a uh, graphical uh, effect same thing like if you're in the mud if you're going going like to the swamps of uh, lemoyne it's so realistic uh, you can see the mud the uh, mud uh, graphics on your clothes and all that and uh, you can see the you know like the wet uh, effects coming off of your clothes it's so realistic it's amazing how they crafted this world like i don't think i've ever played another game where it feels this realistic maybe metal gear solid 5 maybe even to an extent gta 5 or yeah uh no uh rises zero dawn even you know like where you see those realistic graphical uh, effects which is amazing it's amazing and then like exploration like you just want to do more and more of it every time i'm stuck in the woods there'll be somebody you know like there'll be somebody let's say somebody out there fishing and then uh, the ai is so real they'll uh, talk to you like they say hey uh, uh good morning uh, how y'all doing you know or something like that you know and then like uh, if you're going to the towns they they have uh, out you know like you will see uh you know uh, police uh, police will be you know uh like on watch for crime or whatever or you'll see somebody say oh hey uh you know uh, i need your help or whatever like this is one homeless guy like you say hey hey i help a guy out or so and then you have to give him money and then like, you have the choice to give him money but it's realistic how they made this wor world there's even times when you'll get you know, you'll get ambushed for example there will be these bandits the bandits will wait for you let's say like uh this is one part in uh, lemoyne where you you know like you're going like you're going through this one uh tunnel, uh, tunnel bridge and then uh, like as soon as you go out there these guys waiting for you uh, to rob you and then uh, you have to be uh, prepared i uh, get your guns out quick uh, shoot them down with uh red uh, uh whatever uh, what do you call that mode a uh, dead eye mode and then you have to uh try and not to get robbed or uh, uh, ambush and and there's this uh there's 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 this other instance where you're uh, you're getting robbed you'll get no you're uh, you're in this one alley in uh new orleans and then so you have to kind of uh, there's this guy telling you this one guy says okay come over here i need your help and then all of a sudden next thing you know they knock you out they take your wallet i uh, get robbed i uh, will have the option to go back there and kill them uh you know i uh, get back your money uh, but if you try anything then the uh, law is gonna be after you you know it's it's weird it's weird but this is so realistic and the exploration another thing too about it is that there's like i said in the previous review there's countless animals in this game animal you know like this animal this endless uh, amount of wildlife in this game you know from wolves rabbits deer moose elk 
cougars, bears, bison. There's endless, endless. Now, every time you kill a, you know, every time you uh, kill uh, like some sort of animal, you like you'll get like their pelt, and then you get to use that pelt quality for, you know, no, like that pelt to craft, you know, clothing or hats or boots or gloves. There's a many different types of, you know, leather, and, you know, for, but the thing about it is you have to use a certain weapon. So I believe for, okay, for, let's say if you're going to hunt one of those, uh, like a deer, I believe a deer, you have to use a repeater. A repeater is like an old uh, carbine rifle in this game. That's the first rifle you uh, get in this game. You have to use that to get the maximum pelt quality. It's amazing how they made it. Uh, how they made it uh, that way. So there's three star, which is uh, perfect. There's two star, which is good, and there's one star, which is a poor, poor pelt quality. So you have to try and get that perfect pelt quality. There's also the small game arrow. Small game arrows is to hunt snakes, and squirrels, or skunks, or rabbits, or raccoons to get the perfect pelt qualities out of those animals. It's amazing. Ah, okay, like when I first played this, I had no idea what the, you know, I had no idea how, like, how do I get the perfect pelt quality, but then I looked it up on YouTube, and then he said, oh, okay, okay. And so the more guns you have, the better, the more likely you are to get perfect pelt quality, you know. And those guns, you know, they're, they, uh, they can be uh, a lot, you know, like, they'll be uh, a lot, uh, as it, you know, like, as, the, as the story goes on, there's, uh, now, once you get to Sand uh, Denis, which is uh, New Orleans, you will see there's much more weapons. There's more weapons. There's, like, you can even go to certain areas where they'll have, like, these secret weapons. Like, I kind of like some sort of treasure where a rare, uh, you know, like, ultra rare guns. But you don't see this often. Like, you don't see these, you don't see these instances often. I kind of wish the, uh, the game had more instances like that where you can get, like, these rare knives or guns, throwing knives. And it's fun, like, it's really fun to go around, like, you know, like, let's say, like, if you just want to go off trail, people will be, like, you'll even see camps where people, you know, like, let's say, like, if you're low on money, you can go off trail, you can go into the wilderness, and then you, uh, you can rob somebody's camp or whatever, or you could say, ah, uh, give me your money, or and then they'll uh, give up, give up, like, your money, and then there's even times when... Like, let's say if you're, because your camp has this health system uh, or food system, so you have to kind of, uh, where you have to sell, no, like, everybody, everybody on the camp has to kind of uh, contribute to food and money, and uh, everybody, uh, you have to get, like, these, uh, you can even bring in, like, let's say deer, you know, like, uh, you know, if you hunt, uh, if you hunt deer or whatever, you can, uh, you can bring it in, and then the, camp's uh, health, I would actually go up because more people have something to eat, you know, uh, in your camp. So sometimes, too, like, you'll be low on money and then somebody will say to you, oh, let's go rob this house. I see this house. You know, or whatever. And then you get to rob the folks and uh, steal their money and then you're, you know, you're, uh, you, uh, you know, uh, your camp has more uh, money. And uh, this is based on the Western time. So $50 back then, that's like $500 right now. So the currency is very different, and uh, you know, uh, I really get a sense of that. Like when you go to go into a you know a shop, if you have three hundred dollars, that could you know you know like you'll be rich back then. It's amazing. It's just, I'm um, this world, man. And like when you're in it, it's so uh, immersed. It's like, uh, you know, like I just lose track of time. It's like, wow, well, I just want to play this more and more. Obviously, there is, you know, the slow movement, the scripted moments, and sometimes the gameplay can get a bit repetitive and tiring. Uh, I wish they would make it so he could move faster in this game. He said he, he feels slow, he controls heavy. Like, those are all points I stepped on in the last uh, review. Well, anyways, guys, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, this was part two. Please like, subscribe, share the video. Uh, thank you very much.